In this video, you will learn how to visualize a Daphnia under the microscope and how to treat it with different solutions to test their effect on its heart rate. First, you need to obtain a slide on which your Daphnia will rest as you view it under the microscope. Available slides in your lab may include simple flat microscope slides or, as in the case shown here, depression microscope slides. Depression microscope slides have a round depression or divot in the center of the slide. You can use your finger to determine which side of the slide the depression is on. Be sure to keep the depression on the top side. Next, you will use a dropper or transfer pipette to capture a single Daphnia from its container. Some Daphnia may be larger than the hole at the end of the transfer pipette. If this is the case, be sure to use a pair of scissors to trim the end of the pipette up to where the diameter of the hole is larger so as to accommodate the body of Daphnia without damaging it. Use the transfer pipette to capture a single Daphnia and transfer it to the surface of your slide. If you are using a depression slide, the Daphnia should be deposited in the center of the depression. Be sure to keep enough water on the slide so that you maintain your Daphnia in a watery environment. Remember, the Daphnia is a freshwater crustacean that should not be allowed to dry out on the slide. You may use the transfer pipette or paper towels to absorb any excess liquid on the slide. If you find that your Daphnia is moving too much, making it difficult to see the heart or count the heartbeats under the microscope, you can use sewing thread to corral the Daphnia on the slide. To do this, cut three short segments of sewing thread, each no longer than one centimeter in length. Once you have the thread cut, arrange the pieces in a triangle around the Daphnia. You can use a pair of scissors or a micro pipette tip to arrange the threads around the Daphnia making the triangle smaller and smaller to give the Daphnia less and less space to move around. A few things to remember. Be sure to check for the presence of fluid around your Daphnia so it doesn't dry out. And also be sure the threads are short. If they hang off the slide, when you move the slide around on the stage of the microscope, this will move the threads and thus the Daphnia on the slide, making it more difficult to maintain visibility of the organism and the heart. Once you have your Daphnia prepared on the slide, check your microscope to make sure the stage is in its lowest position and the forex objective is in place. Then go ahead and place the slide on the stage, securing it with the slide holder. Center your Daphnia in the path of light coming through the stage. Adjust the amount of light so that you can comfortably look through the ocular lenses and then raise your stage to its highest position using the coarse focus knob. Look through the ocular lenses and slowly move your stage down until the Daphnia is in focus, and then use the fine focus knob to fine tune your focus to clearly view the Daphnia. If the heart is difficult to see, adjust the condenser diaphragm to limit the amount of light passing through the Daphnia, thus increasing contrast. Once you can clearly see the Daphnia under the microscope, locate its compound eye, antenna, and most importantly, the beating heart. You may view your Daphnia at either 4x or 10x magnification, whichever helps you to count the heartbeats more easily. Follow the protocol to count the heartbeats for 15 seconds, three times, and then calculate the baseline heart rate per minute. While doing your calculations, turn off the microscope light to let your Daphnia rest on the slide in its drop of water. Once you are ready to test the effect of your assigned chemical, caffeine or ethanol, Obtain the first test solution you have decided to try. To remove the water from around your Daphnia, place a tissue at the edge of the droplet to absorb the water. Be careful not to touch the Daphnia with the tissue as the Daphnia may stick to the tissue or get damaged by it. Immediately add a drop of your test solution to the Daphnia. Ensure that the Daphnia is immersed in the new solution. Wait 5 minutes, then turn on the microscope and count the heartbeats for 15 seconds 3 times. Once you have your three trials, go ahead and absorb the test solution from the Daphnia using the same method with the tissue as before, and then immediately add a drop of water to the Daphnia. Turn off the microscope and let the Daphnia recover for at least three minutes to allow the heart rate to return back to baseline. You are now ready to repeat the protocol with the next test solution concentration. Once you are finished with your experiment, 
Replace the last test solution around the Daphne with water, remove your slide from the stage, take off any existing threads, and dip the slide and the Daphne into the recovery chamber.